Hi, Steve Morse here, and I want to talk a little bit about how I played the guitar part in Man Alive. That was not me, that was my dog. Man Alive, the new, uh, one of the new tracks from the Deep Purple Bush album. So, uh, it's kind of orchestral bass, a lot of moody things, you know, where I'm... These kind of sound effects, you can do them on uh, on this guitar. You can do them from the tone control, which start with the tone control roll up. Or from the volume control, obviously. Everybody's heard that effect, you know, with volume pedals. I do, I do with the... Uh, the guitar and my paddles just control the amount of delay. All right, so the, I think the key part that makes this guitar part different is the third chord. All the what sounds like dyads, where you, it sounds like there's two notes, but there's actually three. So I think. Typical keyboard cluster, of course, that's what Don's doing. And this is, these are the first two are manageable. But when you come to the third chord, to keep it within the scale, you have to um, take your fifth finger out of position. And when you do that, it's easier to put your thumb down around the neck and curl your wrist up above, like, like a piano player. Imagine you're a piano player and you're playing from this direction on the key. So you get more stretch by putting your thumb down for this. You don't have to have a stretch like Steve Vai or Alan Holdsworth to do this, but you do have to get your thumb down. So, I mean, I, I do stuff like that. Change my, my uh, left hand position just for that chord, then the rest are simple. And sometimes I don't play the, the uh, second or ninth on the first chord because Don's already doing it and you don't want too much of the dissonant note. You want just enough to where it adds some mystery. So uh, the rest is pretty straightforward. You know, power chords and stuff. And then there's a, a horn line. And it sounds like I'm just playing two notes, but again. Same idea. And on these strings, it's super easy. It's like a suspended fourth. But what I want to do when I when I play this is not emphasize the middle note too much. So I, I pick the bottom note with a pick, the top note with uh, this finger, and the middle note more gently with this finger. I can adjust the volume of the middle note. So that's how you do it and blend with the keyboards. <laughs> That's the dog, by the way. He didn't like that last chord. Let me see if I can see, see if I can see them out. Oh no, he doesn't like nights. <laughs> Alright, next time.